Good morning! People, good morning. On this magical day, the day after the lunar eclipse, the full moon, well, the energy is still here. But how did you guys feel yesterday? What did you do? Because with the energies that came in for today, you most definitely did activate something. There is this very positive energy flowing around us right now. And it activates and opens up new possibilities, new portals. Yeah, there is this energy of you being ready. Like you're ready. You are ready. It's like the saying of like spreading your wings. Whatever this driven energy is, it's really going to move you forward. Yeah. If for some of you guys there has been something that ended, because it's obviously a part of the circle, it's a part of the lunar eclipse. The easier... I don't know if I can say it like that. The easier you find it to just... How can I explain this? The easier you just let it go, or the easier you just flow with it, I guess that's a better way of saying it. The easier you flow with something that's leaving your life, or something that's that left, left your life, or maybe you're the one who still need to make a decision for something to leave. The easier you flow with it, the easier you're going to also flow towards the new. And we might not know what the new is, because that is how the universe works, right? We never know. But I do feel that today is all about what you want. Attracting, manifesting, it's about your new circle, it's about letting go, it's about accepting and allowing whatever wants to come in to come in. Yeah, should we test out, <laughs> test out and see what happens? If we take the fortune, well, the tea leaf tarot, fortune, well, I guess it is called fortune telling cards, right? Because we know how these cards rule. There are actually cards here that are in the middle, but I do want to just take a look at it. So let's see, the first card we have is wealth. We have October. Okay, we have June. We have Angel. There's a lot of... That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of months here. Well, it makes sense now that we got this energy of, of a circle and also this energy of like, there's something you're manifesting now, something you want. So, hmm. Wealth. October. In June, Angel Spirit Guides Protection from Harm. So whatever you're moving towards, no harm will come to you. We also have July here. <laughs> There's so many cards, okay. Hmm. So, it's actually interesting because I do feel like the universe allows you to look a little bit further into your future. So, three very important months for you. And this is something that's being activated today. So really tap into what it is that you want. Because for July, we have Baron. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. It actually does fit well. So what is it that's lacking at the moment? What is it that you actually want? Um, because I feel it's coming faster than you think. But it also depends on what you are willing to let go of. And again, it can be fear. Then we have fair <laughs> woman. It can be you or it can be someone. Love, family, friendship. <sighs> Work. Feelings or relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair. Diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Ooh! Again, remember, it's something I'm manifesting already now. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Oh! Well, if this is about a relationship, it could be. Then we have happiness we have marriage. Wow. I wonder if you guys are getting married. <laughs> if you're single, you might find the one you're getting married with. If you're already married, well, sounds. 
there might be something else here that sticks out for you guys who are not dealing with love at all no it goes um marriage can also be like again you are committing to something if it's business work whatever it is there's a commitment happening <sighs> Do we have tarot? Yes, we do. I actually will take these today. So, a lot of things are happening today. We actually do have to fool. Wow, and the Ace of... Uh, mm -hmm. The Ace of Pentacles. Well, there you go. You are making a new journey. Making new decisions. You're making a new journey. Can I say that? But there might be an energy of lack, or an energy of like, what is it that I actually want? What is it that I'm longing for? There's opportunities coming. And just because that we have June, July and October doesn't mean that nothing will happen in these upcoming months. But whatever it is that you are deciding for, or however you decide to actually manifest this, it is... Well, it's be many. Be, you're taking the first steps now. If it's just with you making a plan, getting over your fear again, sexual matters, intimacy matters. It can it can also again maybe not sexual matters, but intimacy. You can put this in different ways because if you are someone who has social anxiety, or you're afraid to get burned, also in work. It could keep you away from happiness if you don't trust people, right? So, Knight of Wands. <coughs> I do feel something is actually coming in very fast. And it might actually be something that forces you to make a decision fast. But it might not be activated straight away. But today I do feel like you're being... You, you will see the first signs of what this is and the universe is really opening its book for you so be like this is what i want you to know this is what i want you to focus on because it's coming so pay attention to it don't be afraid of it right what happens when we are afraid of things hands up people <laughs> well it definitely doesn't come in as we want. It comes in with fear. <clears throat> if you manifest with fear, it comes in with fear. Because the universe will be like, okay, seems like this person wants this lesson. The universe doesn't know if it's a fearful thought or not. So really think about what it is that you want to manifest. How you think about it. There's a fear of committing here, committing to happiness, committing to sexual matters, committing to marriage, committing to, well, traditions maybe in a way. And maybe it's also for you to be like, well, it doesn't have to be a traditional way, no matter if it's in love or if it's in your career. It doesn't, right? Like, how, am I, how are people going to look at me if I do this? Does it matter? compass <laughs> it's not long ago we got the compass with the uh, other tiny deck <laughs> compass with the fool mm. yeah let's see what the compass has to say as long as you orient your compass to true north which is interesting because we do have this activating thing happening with the North Node in Aries and the South Node in Libra. If you have that, pay attention. I have that. And I can feel that a lot of things are happening at once. Again, our North Node is our destiny. So pay attention to what you have in your North and South Node. Because that is where you are being directed towards right now. Uh, the direction of your, your higher power. <laughs> you will never be lost. No. So, no matter... <laughs> what the nodes are in at the moment pay attention to your north node because again 
It is your fault, right? If you also have it in Aries, Aries is actually the go-getter, right? No one stops Aries. <laughs> There's a lot of passion, commitment, action taking. You're entering unshattered territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences <laughs> to stay on the highest path of your destiny. I told you so. You will need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, Romance or other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along your journey. Isn't that beautiful? I feel that is the message for today, people. I was just about to say that it's short and delicious, but I don't know if it's short. But with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Adieu!